We've been using a weed seeker uh, for probably nearly 10 years now since they first came out and the main reasons for the weed seeker is that we can go in and economically spray high, higher rates of chemical because we might only do 5% of the paddock. It's a very good weapon in, against resistance in that we can use expensive whatever chemicals we want to because we can do it very economically. We do a broad acre weed spray most of the time and we will often just use the weed seeker to top up for the harder to kill weeds. These are the weed seeker units and in them there's an infrared light source and there's a, a sensor that picks up the chlorophyll in the weeds and then that, that activates a solenoid further back that just sprays, just zaps that weed. We've got three lines on this machine. One is the weed seeker, the other one is the main line with a triplex on it and we've also got another line that will give us a 25 centimetre spacing for putting on higher rates such as gramoxone and chemicals like that. This machine is set up with two systems, two pumps, two tanks. So one's for the weed seeker, one's broad acre, but they can both be used for broad acre if you're using high rates of water. It also means that your imagination is your limitation when you come to chemical brews because you can use the two se systems completely separately. This is an onboard weather station. It gives you on the go speed, wind direction, all sorts of humidity, everything you need to know about what's happening outside an air-conditioned cab.